Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about subtracting decimals. We have the first problem. Mang Joel has 15 and 925 thousands meters of bamboo. He used 6 and 82 hundreds meters for his fence. How many meters of bamboo were left? In order to solve this problem, we have to subtract the decimals. The question is, how do we subtract decimals? To subtract decimals, we have to follow these steps. Number one, we have to write down two decimals, one under the other, and with the decimal points lined up. So let's do that. 15 and... 925 thousandths and 6 and 82 hundredths. We have to line up our decimal points. Next, we have to add zeros so the numbers have the same length. And it is easy to subtract when we have the same number of digits. So let's do it here. We'll add zero. Next, subtract normally. Remember to put the decimal point in the answer. Okay, we can just subtract the way we do in our whole number. We're ready to subtract. 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. 9 minus 8 is 1. Next is to copy the decimal point so that we will not forget about it. Next, 5 minus 6 cannot be, so we will borrow from 1. 1 will become 0. 5 will become 15. 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. Our answer is 9 and 105 thousandths meters. The remaining bamboo has a length of 9 and 105 thousandths meters. We'll have some exercises. Let's have 12 and 67 hundredths subtracted by 3 and 12 hundredths. We have to make sure that the decimal points are aligned and we're ready to subtract. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Don't forget your decimal point. 2 minus 3 cannot be. We borrow from 1. The 2 will become 12, 1 will become 0. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. Our final answer is 9 and 55 hundredths. Let us have the next one, 100 and 912 thousandths minus 71 and 231 thousandths. We have to align the decimal points. Okay, then we're ready to subtract. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 1 minus 3 cannot be, so we have to borrow from 9. This one will become 11. 9 will become 8. 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Then, of course, we have to copy the decimal point. 0 minus 1 cannot be, so we have to borrow from the 1 there. So this 0 will become 10, this 0 will become 9, then 1 will become 0. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. Our final answer is 29 and 681 thousandths. We'll have another one. 50 and 3 tenths minus 5 and 831 thousandths. We have to align the decimal point and we notice that we have to add um, zero to the empty spaces so that these numbers will have the same number of digits. We're ready to subtract. Zero minus one is equal to, cannot be, so we will borrow from three. This zero will become ten, this zero will become nine, and the three will become two. Ten minus one is equal to nine. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. 
2 minus 8 cannot be, so we will borrow from 5 because we cannot borrow from 0. So this 5 will become 4, this 0 will become 9, and then our 2 there will become 12. 12 minus 8 is equal to 4, then decimal point. 9 minus 5 is 4, then bring down 4. Our final answer for this question is 44 and 469 thousands. And it's easy. We'll have another one. 57 minus 512 thousands. Our decimal point for 57 is at the back of 7 because that is a whole number. Then, we have to add 0 because it's easier if we affix 0. We'll add 3 zeros, then we're ready to subtract. 0 minus 2 cannot be, so we will borrow from 7. This 0 will become 10, this 0 will become 9, this 0 will become 9, and then the 7 there will become 6. We're ready to subtract. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4, the decimal point. And then 6 minus 0 is 6, then bring down 5. Our final answer for this question is... 56 and 488 thousandths and we're done now it is your turn to solve please write your answer in our comments section I will be waiting for your answer the question is 647 and 3 hundredths subtracted by 10 and 999 thousandths. I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time.